Hey guys, it's Julian and today I'm super excited to be talking to you about how to make ride symbol loops. We're going to be talking not just of course about how to get the 909 ride, but how you can really take that and work it into the more modern style of ride symbol like you hear, you know, more of like what you heard in the intro, you know, it's much wider, it's a lot brighter, there's just a little bit going on there that you don't get if you just take a ride symbol out of a 909. So today I'm going to be showing you everything that you need to know to make this style of rides. And to go along with this video, I just dropped a new sample pack called 50 Huge Grooving Ride Loops Volume 1. The link is right at the top of the description. It's just $15. And with that, you get 50 ride loops in this style. Now, I have some demo loops prepared here. So these are some of the rides from the pack you can hear. Super solid stuff, and you can use these for techno or house or literally anything. They're all BPM labeled, but you can just take them and use them at any key or any BPM, and you can use these in any DAW as well. I've also included this ultimate ride rack here, which I'll show you really quick. So here's our dry ride we're going to be using today, and then we're, there's with the rack. And yeah, so that's included. Plus, on top of that, you get these bonus 10 bass lines. 5 bonus melody loops, and 10 bonus rumble kicks as well. So you get a bunch of stuff, pretty much everything you need to make a track. Yeah, I just wanted to create like a really solid resource for you guys if you're looking for these rides and some different resources to help get started or help you get less stuck on tracks. The link is right at the top of the description. This also really helps support me if you guys enjoy these videos. I don't make a whole lot just off of YouTube ads, but with these sample packs, I'm able to keep going and keep bringing you guys new videos every single day. Again, this is a really, really solid resource for producing. Like, you can definitely get started with just this pack. It's got the rides, it's got the ride rack, plus it's got everything else you need. So yeah, link is at the top of the description. Thank you so much for the support, guys. Every sale really helps. And yeah, let's dive into the video. So, what we're starting with here, as you can see, I have just a standard 909 ride. And this is what you're going to want to start with, usually. You can use a lot of different things, like, you can use really almost any ride symbol sample, but I find the 909 ride is just the best one to start with, because it's very fat. And very full sounding, so you're not really going to have, like, to do too much to actually, like, get the sound there, right? But right off the bat, you'll notice there's a few things. So, first off, the ride isn't really that wide, and it, that's the first thing, right? We're going to really want to make this nice and spread out. It's also not that bright. Like, it has some high end to it. But we need to really bring that out a bit more. And then the last thing here that I notice is you can hear there's a lot of, like, like deep low end going on. So if I put a spectrum on here, you can see... Maybe if we get the EQ. You can see, like, there's all this stuff happening down there. And you don't want that, because that's going to mess up your ride, right? Like, the ride is really meant to be in the high end. So that's actually the first thing we're going to do. Is right off the bat, we're just going to take an EQ, and we're going to cut out the low end. And you can see already, that gives it a lot more of that sparkle and that kind of, like, sizzle like you want with a ride. So that really goes a long way. And you can tweak this too, like some you might want it even like up there. And then some you might want it like there. So it's just kind of like every ride is different. And then while we have the EQ, we're going to do a little high end boost because like I was saying, we want to bring that out a little bit. And then the last thing that we're going to do with the EQ is you'll notice if I set this to this mode and then we're going to take this three band. We're gonna tighten the cue, and if we start turning this up, see how there's like that whistling frequency there. So we're just gonna cut that. And here's before that, and then after. You can hear it really cleans that up. And we can do that maybe like one more time. So right off the bat, we go from this to this. So it's pretty solid, and we can even just take this and kind of like...
They're making exactly what we want. But there we go. So the EQ is going to go a long way for getting that more, like, modern kind of ride sound. Because it's just going to take it and take, like, just the things that we want, essentially. Cool. And then after that, the next thing I would probably move up to, actually, is going to be the programming on the ride. Now, the programming on the ride is going to be important, right? There's a lot of different things you could do. You could do... I don't even grab one of these kick loops from the pack so that you can hear this, like, with a kick. Let's use that one. So we go to like. You can do that. You know, that's a bit more aggressive. You can do like that. And those are kind of the most basic ones. But then what I like to do a lot of the time is something like this, where it's going to be eight notes. It's going to be. But then the secret is that the velocity of every quarter note is going to be a little bit lower. So all we have to do. Is you just put in the straight quarter notes, turn the velocity down a little bit. If you don't have them all selected, you can just hit Control A or Command A if you're on a Mac. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hold down Control and drag this. So now we're duplicating it. And then just bring up the velocities of those. And now you get. Like that. And you know, that kind of gives you a more, like, rolling kind of, like, groove to it, essentially. So that really helps. But then you can even get creative within there, right? Like, you could do, like... You could do, like... You could do, like... So there's a lot that can be done within there. You know, it's not just about doing tss, 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 tss. Like, obviously, that's the most basic one that works a lot, but really get creative with these, because I think this is a space where you can make your tracks really unique as well. We're just going to start with that for today. And then another thing that you can do on top of that that really helps, I think, with the groove and with making it fit into your track is we can use some sort of, like, a volume shaping plugin to essentially give it, like, a quarter note, like, bounce, like, just as if it was being side-chained to the kick. I'm going to use auto pan today. Your auto pan by default should look maybe more like this. So what you're going to do is you can just take auto pan, set it to quarter notes, turn the phase down to zero so that it's just affecting the volume, and then we're doing this inverted saw wave here. So now it's going to bounce up, and now we get... So we're still getting it on the quarter notes, but it's kind of like... Just like I said, a little bit more grooving with everything else in the track. And yeah, so, once we're at this stage, we have the ride sounding pretty good. I think the last really important thing to do is just going to be what I was talking about earlier, which is going to be the stereo widening. So there's a lot of different ways you can do this. I have the rack that comes with the 50 ride loops pack. has kind of a more complex version of this. But essentially what's happening here is you can just take an echo and you can turn off the sync and turn off the filter. We'll put the dry wet about there. And then the last secret here is going to be just putting the ping pong to that. And then if we bring this down, you can see that really fast delay just kind of gives you like a nice like wide. Stereo thing going on. And so now it goes from this. this and yeah it's just gonna be like a lot better and what this is gonna do is like in your track typically you're gonna have your main hi-hats i won't say entirely down the center of the track but they're gonna be mostly like in the middle right and then this thing if you just have this in the middle it's gonna blend in with those other hi-hats and the other symbols but if you take it and spread it out like this we're putting the ride in its own place in the mix so now we can have like a hi-hat under that like if i just grab one really quick And you can see the hi-hat is sitting in one place, and the ride is in another place. So they're not going to clash so much, versus if we get, like... You can see when we turn that echo off, and stop trying to make the ride stereo. You can see it doesn't fit as well without that. So, 
yeah, and that's a really simple way of doing it. Again, I usually do something a little bit more complex, whether it's like some multiband stereo widening, or maybe like you know Haas effect on like the bright highs, and then this on the mids, something like that. But that's a very basic version of what you want to do to spread your ride out. You know, it's gonna keep the sound, so it's still that. It's not gonna be too much delay, but it's also not gonna be just straight down the center. And now, so now we go from. This to this. And again, I'm doing this in a very techno style way here. At least this track is kind of a techno track. But this is the exact same way that they make these kind of loops for tech house, for house music, for hard techno, for melodic techno, literally anything. You can just do this in. You know, it's just a really great way to kind of mix your track up, you know, kind of change the arrangement up a little bit as well. You know, you can have like. Right, like it's just a nice way to make your arrangement a lot more exciting. Just bringing something like this in. And yeah, so that is how it's done. That is how you make these style of rides. And as always, make sure to like this video as well as subscribe. And let me know what you think of this video in the comments, guys. Like I said in the beginning, you can get my new pack, 50 Huge Grooving Rag Loops, Volume 1, right at the top of the description. It's just $15, and you can't miss the link. Once again, this really helps support me. You get 50 really solid rag loops that you can just take into your track right away. Plus, the ultimate ride rack that you can drop on any ride sample and turn it into one of these nice, kind of grooving, more interesting ride loops. It's a much more complex version of some of the ideas I showed you today. Plus, on top of that, you get the free bonus bass lines, bonus melody loops, and bonus rumble kicks. So you literally get everything you need to make a track with this one sample pack. This really helps support me. Again, guys, I don't make a whole lot just off of YouTube ads or YouTube alone, but with the sample packs and Bandcamp and different things like this, I'm able to keep bringing you guys new videos every single day of high-quality content that really isn't out there. So, yeah, thank you so much for the support, everybody, and I'll see you tomorrow with another video. And go grab the pack.